Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video so you don't miss any future uploads. Today is a vegan video, so a little disclaimer for my whole food plant-based and oil-free followers. This video is not for you. This is not compliant at all whatsoever. <laughs> so in today's video, I just have some quick and easy holiday side dish dessert recipes for you guys that I wanted to share just to give you guys some ideas to switch things up if you needed to bring something to a holiday dinner or if you wanted to make something for yourself that was fall inspired and super delicious but super easy to make. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this first recipe. So for this first recipe, we're going to be making an apple and cherry dump and go cobbler in the crock pot. This is so easy to throw together. You're going to want to start with a accidentally vegan box of vanilla cake mix. And then you're going to be adding some cinnamon and some butter to that. And that is it because we're just making a quick, easy crumble to go on top. So you're just going to add your melted butter. You're going to mix it up until it forms like nice little crumbles because we're going to be dumping this right on top. So now that you're done mixing your crumble all together, you're gonna go ahead and take your crock pot. Mine here is just lined with some Reynolds crock pot liners for easy cleanup. And then you're just gonna wanna get one can of accidentally vegan apple pie filling and one can of accidentally vegan cherry pie filling. And you're gonna mix these both together. Now, obviously you could do all cherry, all apple, you could even do peach. This is such a versatile recipe. It's so easy to throw together. And it's really a great recipe that you could take to a family gathering with non-vegans and they wouldn't even know the difference because obviously other than the vegan butter everything here is just accidentally vegan products so it's a really great way to impress your friends and family without spending a ton of money or putting a ton of effort so i'm just going to go ahead and place that crumble right over the top of my filling and then we're going to put the lid on our crock pot and we are going to turn this on high and we're going to go ahead and let that go and forget about it for three hours. So I went ahead and turned my crock pot off after three hours and then this is ready to serve. This is the perfect quick easy fall dessert that you could bring to Thanksgiving or any kind of fall get together. And it's really versatile because like I said, you just need two cans of pie filling of any flavor that you like. And then a box of cake mix. I added some cinnamon and then some butter to make the crumble topping. And that's it. It's so simple and easy, but full of flavor, super delicious, definitely can impress a crowd. And I really hope you guys go ahead and try and make this one. So this next recipe I'm super excited about because I am a pumpkin pie fanatic and I also love Tres Leches cake. So I had to combine the two together. This is a vegan pumpkin Tres Leches cake and it tastes just like pumpkin pie in my opinion. So you're going to start off with a box of spiced cake mix. You just want to make sure and check your ingredients that it's accidentally vegan. And then we're going to add in a can of uh, pumpkin puree, not to be confused with pumpkin pie mix. You just want pure pumpkin puree. Then I just have some pumpkin pie spice here. And then I'm also going to add in a little vanilla. Both of these are optional, but I really think that they help enhance all of the flavors. So definitely don't skip this step if you're really going for that pumpkin pie flavor. So now I'm just going to mix these ingredients together. Now that I mixed all those ingredients together, I'm just going to go ahead and add in my almond milk. 
So now that everything is nice and well incorporated, we're going to go ahead and transfer this to a greased 9 by 13 baking pan. And we're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees. And I baked mine for about 28 minutes, I believe. And it just depends on your oven. Obviously, you want to check it. You're just looking for it to fully cook and get nice and firm in the middle. So while that's baking in the oven, we're going to go ahead and throw our three milk mixture together. Now I'm starting off with some sweetened condensed coconut milk. You can find this at your specialty stores online and even at Walmart now. But if you don't have access to this, there you could quickly Google search vegan sweetened condensed milk. And there's a ton of recipes to be able to make your own. And then we're also going to put some light coconut milk in here and some almond milk. Now, if you don't like a wetter tres leches cake, you can leave the almond milk out. And I put all that information in the recipe, which is linked down below in the description box. As always, both of these recipes and the exact ingredients are down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix those together. And then I'm going to set this in the fridge while we wait for our cake to finish. So I've pulled my cake out of the oven and I allowed it to cool for about an hour and a half because you want it to cool completely through before you add your milks to it. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to poke over the top so that the milks have a chance to absorb right into every part of that cake. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that milk mixture and we're going to pour it right over the top of our cake. Now you're going to go ahead and place this in the refrigerator and you're going to leave that for about two to three hours so that everything can set up. And then when it's done, you're going to bring it back out of the refrigerator and you're going to go ahead and place your whipped topping over top. Now you can make a homemade whipped topping, but of course, like always, I'm keeping it quick and easy over here and I just have some vegan true whip, but you could use whatever kind of whipped topping you enjoy. Now I'm going to take some cinnamon and I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top. This just makes your cake a little more prettier and it adds a little extra flavor, but obviously it's optional. So that's it for this video, you guys. If you love cake, you love Tres Leches cake, pumpkin pie, this is the perfect dessert for you. This is a great dessert to bring to Thanksgiving to impress a crowd. I definitely recommend this one. For sure, it's so good and I hope you make it. Thanks so much for watching. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And if you make one of my recipes, don't forget to tag me on Facebook or Instagram because I absolutely love hearing from you guys. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.